Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and this is how to install a cryorig cooler on an AM4 Ryzen motherboard. If you've recently bought a Ryzen chipset and you're looking for a cooler and you really like Cryorig's options, you might have noticed that right now Cryorig does not have a single cooler with an AM4 bracket in the box. They are allowing you to get an AM4 bracket, but they're doing it a little bit differently right now. The way they want you to get your AM4 bracket right now is to go to a specific Cryorig website, prove that you have purchased a Cryorig cooler, and a Ryzen processor. And then once you've done that, they'll ship you the AM4 bracket right then, as soon as you tell them what cooler you have. They will review your order, and then they'll ship you that AM4 bracket right then. As you can see here, I did that process already, and I already got my AM4 bracket for everything from an R1 cooler to a C1 cooler. And obviously this is the C1 cooler in this case. So let me show you how to actually install it if you have the R1 cooler, the H5 cooler, the C1 cooler, or the M9A cooler. This is the exact process to install this AM4 bracket for any one of those five coolers. So let's get started. So step one is to remove the stock bracket from the AMD motherboard. Most motherboards right now for AM4 come with this bracket, so all you have to do is remove these four screws and then you're good to go. Step number two is to grab these spacer screws that Cryorig supplies in their AIM-4 bracket kit and then attach them to the plate that remains on the back side of your AIM-4 motherboard. Step four is to then grab this bracket and set it down over the four screws until it's snug and tighten them down with the cap nuts that you had from the original cooler packaging. Step four is to then apply your thermal paste. I use the typical Cryorig thermal paste that comes with it. And then step five is to install your Cryorig cooler. Obviously this step will be a little bit different depending on what Cryorig cooler you have. This is the C1, so all it requires is the two screws here to be tightened down onto the bracket, and then you attach the Cryorig fan to the top of it and that finalizes that the fan is completely installed. But like I said, depending on which cryorig cooler you have, this process will slightly differ, but be very similar as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the cryorig upgrade kit for an AM4 motherboard. And if you're big fans of the channel and would like to help out, please always remember to click my affiliate links in the description below, or go to my Patreon account and you can help me out there. Every little bit helps and I have no set tier really as far as pricing or anything like that goes. Anything helps if you're able to. If not, no big deal. This is free content and it will always remain that way. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!